Hello, in this video we are going to cover, or are we going to cover, reordering columns. So we've got this little basic system container row and then three columns inside, column one, column two, and column three. If you come here, this is what our website looks so far. Maybe on a particular screen size, we actually want a different order. So let's say on the extra extra large screen size, we want this column to be first and let's say the other two to be you know in the normal order of you know this one and this one to do that you put order dash then the breakpoint so if you put no breakpoint and you just put dash and a number it targets extra small which will trickle up unless overridden sm is for small md is for medium lg is for large xl is for extra large and x xl is for extra extra large so let's say i'll put number here so the lower the number the you know the lower the order, so the first one that will, the lower the lowest number will appear first. Before I do that, you know, nothing happens because if there isn't anything specified here, these will have a higher order essentially, you know, higher precedence. So you have to specify your order here as well. Order two, order dash three. If I save that, as you can see, this is first, and I realized I made a mistake because it's always going to be like that. And again, you might want that, but I was, you know, giving you the use case of extra, extra large. So you just put XXL or whatever breakpoint it is. And I'm just going to copy that, make things a little faster. And now this will only be affected on extra, extra large. So if I inspect the element, it's actually already true, gone all the way down. So go to bound. Okay, we're at just over 1400 pixels. 1400 pixels is the breakpoint between extra large and extra extra large. And if I start resizing it down, we're like, we're at 1400. Anything below that, it goes to the other reordering, which is, well, there's no other ordering applied, so you'll just be in the normal order. So that is how you reorder columns really easy. You don't have to mess around with any JavaScript or jQuery or any dynamic language like that. Really cool, really simple. If you have any questions, feel free to point me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.